Look at this, guys. We just found the ultimate pork roll jamo. Whoa. This is it right here. Insane. And my mouth is watering just watching this because it is going to be so delicious. Look at that. Just stuffed plump. Check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in Xi'an, magical Xi'an. And I'm so excited because there is a ton of delicious food to eat here. And we're going for a full on street food tour. Let's check it out. Today, we're bringing you to eat seven incredibly delicious Xi'an street foods. Here, there's an amazing mixture of both Hui Muslim halal Chinese food, like incredible lamb and pita soups, lamb kebabs, and more, along with tons of local Han Chinese specialties as well, like Chinese stewed pork stuffed pitas, insanely plump bao tzu, and more. And at the end, we're going into the back kitchen to watch a classic Hui Halal Pao Mo being made and grilling some juicy lamb kebabs. Let's eat. All right guys, we are now in a morning market. Check it out, there's fruit, vegetable, meat all around, and right up ahead, there's supposed to be a super famous Rou Jia Mo, a Chinese pork hamburger. This is the origin of the hamburger since the Qin Dynasty. This is where it comes from, and we're gonna go try it out. Oh, and it's already busy. La Higa Rou Jia Mo. We're gonna get the nice juicy one. How much is it? $11. This is a lot of rice, right? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. So we got our ticket. Now we're in the Rou Jamo lineup and we got yogurt, which is premium quality pork. And they're gonna load it up. After a quick chat with the owner, we got so lucky because we got right into the back kitchen to see how they make the Rou Jamo. Look at this, guys. We just found the ultimate Pork rou jia mo. Wow. Jiggy yo hando shang niao dema. So, rou jia mo is basically ultra rich fatty pork stewed in this huge pot full of spices and seasonings for over 20 hours. And you can really smell all of that. And they're gonna chop it up and put it into a Chinese pita. Oh. Can't you like Thai hao chir la? Oh. Look at the seasonings here. Oh, look at all the seasonings. Jiggy hen hen nong da. This is all the seasonings here, guys. Look at the big bag of spices and seasonings. And we're just adding in that sauce. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh,有一些人他们他们想要的吗？哦，口味不同。对，他会自己要求加糖或者不加糖。哦，明白了，我可以加糖吗？我可以，有点咸。咸吗？我喜欢呃，中口味。中口味可以吗？可以。这个是
making it into little discs, and then putting them right here on the grill. And you can see they're kind of flipped up, and that's to get the top, have a nice crispy brown. And then after they grill for a few seconds, we throw them right over here and put them right in the oven. Those are done. And then there's actually like a hatch right here, and they throw them down the hatch, and then they catch them. So you get a fresh pita, fresh moa, full of perfect, seasoned, rich, fatty pork. Oh, and we're gonna add the juice. Wow. Yo, Judah. And then we're also gonna get a liang fen. What can you eat? Liang liang fen. Liang pi, liang pi. And you can see we're just cutting up. This is show gong to the liang pi, right? So we're just cut, oh, show gong. So we're cutting up the rice jelly noodles. Oh, it's, this is just a Xi'an specialty. This is mi fen to the mi to the. So it's rice jelly noodles with a special vinegar. Sesame and chili sauce. Oh, so there's a bit of. Okay, okay. So there's a bit of chili oil, sesame oil, vinegar, oh, and then sesame paste. Oh, Thai haola. Oh, this is gonna be the ultimate breakfast. Oh, and there's a bit of. Hayo, nepian yayo, xilan huama. What kind of. Oh, hayo. So there's also broccoli and cucumber. Oh, that is pure beauty. Look at this perfect breakfast. Oh, Look at that ultra, ultra fatty rich rojamo. We added sauce and this is yojuda, so they add all of that extra pork on there. Mmm. Oh, that is insane. Oh, it is just the perfect fatty rich start to the day. The pita, the moa bread is crispy and fluffy and all of that fatty pork. It's actually, it's quite strong. You can tell it's a rich broth and it's a little salty, but that's because I added the stock. So that's how I wanted it. It's powerful, fatty, juicy. Mm. After enjoying that cool and refreshing and spicy sesame chili combo liangpi with a classic Xi'an orange soda, we made our way for our second breakfast, a famous Hui Chinese halal beef ball breakfast soup. Awesome. We're in the back streets of the Hui area and there is so much street food out. It is just packed with energy. And right up here, there is a hula tang joint which is a special Hui soup. Let's try it out. This is local. Ni hao, zao shang hao. This is hula tang, right? Yes, roll out. Roll hula tang. This is roll is new roll? New roll. New one. This is what kind of flavor? Mala. Mala. Oh. Not hot, not hot, not hot. Oh. So it's a vegetable soup and he's making it spicy with chili oil and a little numbing. And you can see it's very thick, full of cabbage, a little bit of carrot and beef ball. Oh, and she's just scooping it up here. Wow. Wow, hula tang. Oh, and we're gonna start out. one. Oh, lots of curry. Oh, yeah, Thai bong. Look at that chili oil right in there. This is xiang yu ma? Xiang yu Oh, look at this, guys. Fresh moa bread. And you can see all the locals there breaking it in. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, you got to come bright and early. That is super hot, that moa bread. Still steaming hot. Perfect. Thick. Almost looks like a little gooey. Lots of veg in there. And he put the chili oil. Let's try it out. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it's actually almost a little bit like Sichuan food because there is a numbing peppercorn aroma in there. It's definitely peppery and thick. After that nice bowl of hula tang, and before going for an incredible bowl of lamb blood rice noodle soup, we went for our third breakfast. A famous Chinese street food, the baozi, but here completely upgraded into the most plump buns you'll ever see. All right, next up, guys, we are going for classic Chinese breakfast baozi. But these are not just any baozi. I hear these are the most plump, juicy baozi you can find, and they have a lot of unique fillings. I hear they have eggplant and chili and tofu. It's all here. 
Let's go try it out. Niha. Wow, you guys shouldn't even about it. So many bouts. And we're gonna go see how they make them. Niha. Wow. I think we just found the Bautza hotspot. Look at that char. That is eggplant. Eggplant, chili, tofu. There's a bit of cut up bell pepper, green bell pepper. Oh, and it's so nice to watch them being made. They are plump. These are the most plump I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> Wow, it's all here. Handola. 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 Just monster sized. This is a bow to party. Oh, and they're bringing in more. Incredible. It's about to line up. What's your ego? It's hot. Oh, it's hot. Mm, look at that. That is the most beautiful bow to you will ever see. There's tofu. Mm, it's actually a little sweet and spicy. I think they put a little bit of pumpkin in there. This is a This is a This is a This is a This after that delicious breakfast bout, we went for a super local lunch in Xi'an. Rice noodles with lamb blood strips and a super spice packed broth. Next up, guys, we are going for Fen Si Yangjie. Right up here, super famous joint. Rice noodles with lamb blood. And you can just sit on the side of the street and enjoy. Okay, try a yogurt Fen Si Yangjie. Just look at what we found here. The ultimate lamb blood rice noodle soup. And you can see we're just loading up the lamb blood on top of the rice noodles. Beautiful. A bit of smoked tofu. Oh, amazing. And then after that, we are gonna take that and load it up with beautiful tons of spices. Look at that, salt, MSG, five spice, Sichuan peppercorn, celery, cilantro, of course, lots of beautiful chili oil and a little more oil and then loading it up in the back with a rich stock. They call it Xiang Liao Tang, which is just packed with more spices. And we're going up to see how they make it in the kitchen. Oh, this is Doshi Yang Xue. Look at all the lamb blood. Wow. Oh, this is how they slice the lamb blood into strips. Oh wow, that is so fast. And quieter. Wow, Tai Chuan Yela. That is amazing. Look at that. It's like a brick of lamb blood. Amazing. And now we're making them into strips. is fast and quieter. Oh, she said Oh, she said Yang Yang Xue she said. Look at this guys. Look at all those strips of lamb blood and you can see they make it spicy and you can break your more bread in and you can see this place is just packed. People are just feasting on the lamb blood noodles. Wow, let's get a nice oh. Look at all the slices of lamb blood. It's like they're almost like noodles. Wow. That. Mm, you can really taste all of the spice in there. It is just packed with spice. You see, they put spoonfuls of that Chinese five spice mix in there. So, Chinese five spice is usually cinnamon, cloves, fennel, star anise, and Sichuan peppercorns. 
下次见。好好，拜拜。Next up, after walking through some back streets, we found a local man selling a special sweet date and sticky rice dessert who sold the same street food for his whole life. We are just exploring the back streets now, and I think there is a specialty street food here by bicycle. Ni hao. This is Zhang Gao, ma. Oh, Zhang Gao. She and the tourist. Oh, can you can, ma? Oh, so this is. I can buy it, ma. Oh, so this is Zhang Gao. Is Nomi doing it, ma? Yeah. Oh, so it's sticky rice. Nomi, how you doing? So it's sticky rice and date, and I think there's also a few nuts in there, peanuts. Wow, it's tender. Oh, Thai bang le, xie xie ni. Classic Xi'an street food. This is how much? Five. Five kai ma. Oh. This is Hua Sheng, ma. Hua Sheng. Yuan Dou. Oh, Yuan Dou. Some beans. Oh, and some beans. Yuan Dou. Hmm. Oh. 这个这个很甜的啊,啊，你小的时候学做这个吗？啊，啊这个一辈子做，一一辈子做了吗？啊，一辈子做。Wow, been doing this for a lifetime。然后西安人很很受欢迎，这个对吗？啊，西安人都很喜欢吗？啊，都喜欢。啊 ，locals love this。Wow, and you can see why。很好吃的。Next up, we're going for another famous Xi'an street food, the Yang Rou Pao Mo, a famous soft, fatty lamb and pita bread soup. This here is the number one dish from Xi'an. You're gonna love it. Awesome, guys. We are now exploring. It's early evening. We are in the Hui district, the Muslim district, where there's tons of delicious halal food, and we're on the hunt for a good Yang Rou Pao Mo, classic lamb pita soup. Oh, I think this is it here. We're gonna get premium extra lamb, classic Yang Rou Pao Mo. This place is local and famous. Yo Jida, Hendo Roma, Hendo Roma. Roto Tai Bang La. And this is the kitchen here, and we're just gonna walk right in. Oh, making Yang Rou Pao Mo. Ni hao. Oh, this is Xiao Xiao Pao Mo. Oh. So this one is spicy, it's got tomato, chili, he cracked an egg in there, and then you can also get the original Yuan Tang flavor, which is classic lamb stock. Oh, and it's just mesmerizing watching the wok in action. Oh yeah. But we're gonna order up a classic Pao Mo, original lamb stock, ni hao. Oh, Yang Rou Pao Mo. Oh. So look at this, guys. Yo Jidama. So you can see, there's all of these all of this pita bread on the bottom, broken up pita bread, and all of that lamb. Oh, looking good. And we're gonna put that right on top. Oh, tons of juicy lamb. A little bit of rice noodle. And that's preparing it. Oh, hi, yo muar. Yo muar. Fence. Oh, some green onions. It's all in there. We're putting it right in. Wow. Oh, yeah. Right in the big steaming wok. Oh, that is beautiful. So you can see all of that pita. It's starting to get soft. It's soaking in all the juice. All of that lamb stock. Oh, that is beautiful. This is tayo, ma. Tayo. Oh, new. Oh. Just adding in a little MSG there. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh. That looks amazing. Just look at this, guys. Oh. Look at this classic Yang Rou Pao Mo. Beautiful. Oh, what an awesome combo. So we've got lean and fatty lamb with pita. See this, this is all pita here. Then we've got these rice noodles, like vermicelli, bit of green onion. And it also smells like there's a bit of spice in there, maybe like a bit of cumin. And they give you some chili paste and also some pickled garlic. Oh, the lamb just falls apart. Look at that. This is Xi'an classic. Mmm, mmm, it's like creamy. Yang Rou Pao Mo, the lamb. It's lean, but it still melts in your mouth. And then this Mo bread gives it a bit of a cushioniness. Really nice, and this, the stock is just really nice, rich lamb flavor. For our final street food, we went for a nighttime favorite amongst Xi'an locals, the lamb skewers with grilled Chinese nang bread, the ultimate combo. Today is a true street food adventure and we are going for our final meal. We're gonna get some lamb skewers on the street, Xi'an style, 
Hui style. Oh, it's busy. Oh, ni hao. This is the yang rou chuan. This is the yang rou chuan. Oh, yang rou chuan. So beef skewers here. Oh, it's very hot. It's very hot. That is insanely aromatic. Do you want to put it in the rice? Yes. Oh, and just look at the bubbling beef skewers. And all of the juices are dripping down into the pit there. And you can see it's just bubbling away. And that smell is just Thai xiang la. They're just loaded with a secret spicy chili sauce, cumin, chili. Oh, it's gonna be a, a lamb and beef skewer feast tonight. You can have your beef or lamb kebabs with this homemade naan bread, Chinese naan bread, baked in a tandoor oven with cumin, with chili and with sesame, crispy and fluffy. Oh, and you can you can literally just soak the kebabs into that so the juice gets into the bread. We're gonna go try it all out. Look at this, guys. Here is the lamb covered in that cumin and chili and their special chili sauce. Same with the beef. And then they sliced up. Oh, this nong is still hot. Oh, still hot. You can see there's big cumin seeds in there. Sesame, chili, it's all on there. And I think I'm just gonna take a bit of that lamb. Oh, look at that fatty loaded up right onto one of these pieces of naan bread. Amazing, juicy looking lamb over top of that naan. Crispy, you can really smell all that sesame and I just can't wait. Let's go on for it. That is a flavor explosion. That is the soul of Xi An. You've got such a strong cumin and sesame flavor. And this nang, it's crispy, a little soft on the inside. It has a bit of a crunch to it. It's insanely good. What an amazing day it has been. I would love to know what you thought about this street food and travel video in the comments below. Please click that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. This is just the beginning. There is so much more to try in Xi An.